Ellesmel Stride becomes another name that is linked to the Conservative leadership, uh, another government loyalist, a former work and pension secretary, who has hosted a couple of dinners to assess whether he has enough support to stand, and he's concluded that he will stand, according to an ally. Apparently, Mel is a serious candidate and has the heft and gravitas to be a fantastic leader of the opposition and bring together the party as well as anyone can. While popular, he may have left his lobbying efforts too late. Tom has scooped up the support um, uh, Vicky and Mel would need to run already. Uh, uh, so uh, the the, the um, this is about Tom Tugendhat, who has apparently picked up a lot of support uh, around the party, more so than James Cleverley and Kemi Badenoch, Pretty Patel, and Robert Jenrick. Though I must say, I think Jenrick looks to me to be the most likely candidate. And all of this begs the question, what's happening to Suella Braverman? Well, the newspapers have been dominated in the last day by a story about her potential defection. Not yet, not yet, soon, soon, possibly during the Conservative Convention, possibly during the Conservative Conference. Oh, convention, I'm now mixing myself up with uh, the Republican stuff in America, rather like Farage. Doesn't know which side of the Atlantic he's on, nor do I. So there's an idea that Suella Braverman uh, and and the, the idea is coming from both the Conservative Party and from the reform people. Uh, it's created significant speculation and concern within both spheres. Both parties suggest that Braverman, this former Home Secretary and uh, demagogue, uh, is poised to make the move due to her dwindling support within the Conservative Party and the subsequent challenges in her bid for party leadership, which, of course, could be hugely embarrassing. Take me because I'm a failure. Critically, this scenario highlights deep fractures and ideological splits within the Conservative Party. A senior Conservative has uh, encapsulated this sen sentiment by saying, uh, there's now so much antagonism towards Suella Braverman among MPs that there's a generally held view that she will defect. Great. The antagonism is a reflection of her controversial stance on issues like homelessness and LGBTQ plus rights, which have alienated many of her uh, erstwhile colleagues. And Braverman's potential shift to Reform UK could be seen as an indictment of her leadership aspirations within the Conservative Party. As one ally of uh, Rishi Sunak has said, Suella is not going to become leader, at least not of the Tories. The likelihood of her joining Reform UK... I can't imagine her becoming leader of Reform UK either, because that is Farage's pet project. And the, the likelihood of her joining... Reform UK, underscores the ideological rift between her and the current Conservative leadership and is further evidenced by her statements expressing a desire to see cooperation between the Conservatives and Reform UK. I think should she go, then that confirms that union will not happen. Nigel Farage's comment that Brabham would fit in well uh, with Reform UK, she'd fit in well in a dustbin suggests a mutual recognition of shared political goals and ideology. Uh, this potential alliance also poses a threat to the Conservative Party as it could siphon off right-wing support and weaken their position further. Uh, that, that would be one view. Another view would be that it will, it will siphon off the right-wing support and, prop and possibly even more right-wing MPs into reform. I don't think that matters as long as the Conservative Party returns to the centre ground. If it returns to the centre ground, it becomes a viable opposition. It also prepares the way for it returning to power at some point in the future. If it lurches so violently to the right and sees itself as reform light, it will never uh, be in government again. Which, I mean, there may be some people on Labour ranks who will cheer about that. I personally 
think that it's it's important to maintain our two-party system. It's important to maintain a competent adversarial system in our parliament. Uh, otherwise, we need to renegotiate the way the House of Commons works. I think there is room for House of Commons improvement and reform, but not to that extent. The broader implications of Braverman's expected defection, therefore, are profound. It not only casts doubt on the unity and future direction of the Conservative Party, but it also raises questions about the viability of a fragmented right-wing political landscape in the UK. So if, if the Conservative Party loses Braverman, and if it continues its lurch towards the right, there is a problem for the opposition. As the Conservative Party grapples with its internal divisions and the fallout from recent electoral defeat, Braverman's move could mark a significant realignment in British politics. And it will mark a, a significant realignment in British politics. The question is whether or not it marks a, uh, a further decline in the Conservative Party or a moment of revival. If the Conservative Party moves towards the centre, it marks a revival and good riddance.